ஆர்கிடெக்சர் ஆர்கிடெக்சர் ஆஃப் ஆர்கிள் ஆப்ஸ் so last week i have seen how to install <coughs> on a single node multi node and there are various components that we got it and uh, there are two sections if you really wanted to talk about the architecture part any time we say architecture we are trying to understand the <coughs> product as it is with respect to like the functionality and the dimensions files layouts services in a simple term we are trying to get familiar with the product in order to make use of that so the moment we install using a rapid wiz it's going to lay out everything for us so in a sense it is like database and application stuff whatever is required for the database as well as for the applications everything is laid out all the directories files executables environment files configuration files xmls and all that and including start stop scripts everything is laid out not only that it even started all the services so that we can start using the application using browser oracle applications usage is only through browser because it's a browser based application maintaining the application majority of the portion is from backend there is some portion uh, i would say 70 30 70% is backend activity as far as apps dba concern and 30% from the front end because the majority of that 30% is security management like creating users creating responsibilities customizing responsibilities supporting the customization and submitting the request concurrent processing server this is all will handle from front end like concurrent managers custom concurrent programs that we can create and we can even organize such a way that which report should be run by which manager and all that we going to see so before that we want to look at the architecture part if you want to understand as whole you can make that as a two sections the architecture you can see as two sections one section is talking about application tech stack application tech stack is one the other one is application technology layer technology layer to understand very easy way there are two things we need to understand when we say technology stack or tech stack we are talking about oracle homes in a way binaries binaries that supports various services for example how many oracle homes we have three oracle homes one is 11g home this is oracle database home this is rdbms rdbms home where you get all oracle stuff then it comes 1012 and 1013 and Ten one two is called tools home. Ten one three is for OC four J. This is basically Oracle HTTP server. Oracle HTTP server. 121 powered by apache 1012 is going to be used by farms and all that even concurrent processing server is going to make use of 1012 itself 
Now, this is very clear, no explanation required on the 11G because we all are familiar with core database. Whatever we get with 11G, a similar stuff but little more extra. Absolute directory is only the extra thing. So, for us to understand, if someone is asking, hey, what is the difference between the core database Oracle Home, RDBMS Home, and Oracle Applications, RDBMS Home? Let us understand that first. The only difference is apps util is a directory rest all exactly similar when you say apps util is the extra one we need to understand why this is there on the rdbms home very simple and straightforward this rdbms purpose is to support our oracle applications right the purpose of the database is to support already defined installed configured applications now whatever is required to support oracle applications all that stuff is going to be part of this rdbms home to make it more easy can i build apps util on my own or manually absolutely and in fact, we have to build apps util. When to build this apps util? See, initially, installation itself is going to keep it over there. Later point, definitely we'll be applying a lot of patches for enhancing the application's capability. With that, you get so much stuff with respect to Oracle applications. So, from application tier, we're going to create apps util directory in the sense in a zip format we're going to copy that zip file to rdbms home and you can unzip under this so that whatever is required from application tier to rdbms will get copied to apps util that's the reason all your start stop scripts and everything is part of apps util. All the application related. Apart from that, rest all same. Hope that is clear, right? So apps util is the directory. Whatever is required from the application tier to database will get placed into apps util. That is only the difference. Apart from that, it is exactly same. ADMK apps util. No, uh, the build script that we're going to run to get this apps util. Anyhow, we're going to see that. Uh, after we apply a bunch of patches during the upgrade from 12.1.1 to 12.1.3 and we generate apps util, then we just copy to this location. That is one of the steps that we need to do. So that's about the RDBMS home at high level. Of course, we're going to discuss about the internal structure, the logical structure of the database also. This is at OS level. Coming to database front, we are going to see how the schemas are created, configured, how the privileges are maintained because in a way it is very complex environment because we have too many schemas to support various applications. What is the internal architecture of the RDBMS? Let us talk about that. Coming to the logical structure, logical structure of our database every application for example general ledger account payables account receivables there are few hundreds of these schemas right when we say logical structure we're going to talk about the users and all that all these are interdependent it's not independent though they are, they are addressing certain application each one requires access on to other schemas even normal case also that's the reason the privilege privileges has come into the picture roles has come into the picture in order to have the access on some other schemas definitely we need that is the uh, design aspect of the database itself since we have too many schemas here 
what oracle has picked up is like you know apps schema there is a user called apps which is a very powerful one apps is a user created apps will have you know we create synonyms on this it's it's all to do with these synonyms synonyms on this apps user will have full privileges to make it very simple apps is a user will have full privileges on all the objects irrespective of which user is the owner of that object apps is capable of doing everything not only that full privileges on objects on all objects of all schemas sounds good point number 1 plus what these all all objects are data objects see how many types of objects we have two types of objects right one is data objects and the other one is code object all the code objects must be created in apps schema this is the design pattern and we also need to follow the same pattern what do we mean we need to follow the same pattern yeah for the customization right so there must be a lot of customization in order to fill the gap we must be creating a lot of objects and all that so whenever we create a custom schema let's say for example we want to call some like you know xx cust xx cust is the uh, custom uh, customization schema for that schema all the data objects must be in schema create synonyms create all synonyms then assign full privileges then assign full privileges to apps schema right then any objects any code objects like views procedures any code objects that you wanted to create for this custom schema must be owned by app schema means all code objects we must create in app schema this is the customization pattern also so one important user that we need to understand with respect to apps database uh, is the apps user in a way when you try to connect to oracle applications from front end in order to access any object all the security is being filtered at the application itself by using responsibilities right see so how do we access oracle applications by using a browser just one second <coughs> 